Right? The computers that we're currently using are defined in such a way that every state has exactly one possible successor state. Members of the Wolfram Institute community are multi bay pilled. They understand that uh, the non distributed Turing machine is an extremely important concept in which the successor state is not so well defined that you have only one possible one, but you have a multitude, which means you have a branching state space. So an interesting aspect of the non distributed Turing machine is not that it itself is random. You simply go into all the states, which means it's a deterministic description. But if you are being computed by it. You don't know which branch you'll end up in. There is genuine ontological randomness from the perspective of what's being computed by it. And a similar thing could be happening in our own brain. If you look at the individual neuron, it's not fully deterministic. And since you want your brain to control things, you use a group of neurons to represent something. So the group of neurons implements something like a Hilbert space. This doesn't mean that the brain is a quantum computer. It's a system that, while being implemented classically, has properties that we typically associate with multi-base systems.